chapter 41. Can you catch a crocodile with a hook or put a noose around its jaw? Can you tie it with a rope through the nose or pierce its jaw with a spike? Will it beg you for mercy or implore you for pity? Will it agree to work for you? Can you make it be your slave for life? Can you make it a pet like a bird or give it to your little girls to play with? Will merchants try to buy it? Will they sell it in their shops? Will its hide be hurt by darts or its head by a harpoon? If you lay a hand on it, you will never forget the battle that follows and you will never try again. No, it is useless to try to capture it. The hunter who attempts it will be thrown down. And since no one dares to disturb the crocodile, who would dare to stand up to me? Who will confront me and remain sick? Everything under heaven is mine. I want to emphasize the tremendous strength in the crocodile's limbs and throughout its enormous frame. Who can strip off its hide, and who can penetrate its double layer of armor? Who could pry open its jaws, for its teeth are terrible? The overlapping scales on its back make a shield. They are close together so no air can get between them. They lock together so nothing can penetrate them. When it sneezes, it flashes light. Its eyes are like the red of dawn. Fire and sparks leap from its mouth. Smoke streams from its nostrils like steam from a boiling pot on a fire of dry rushes. Yes, its breath would kindle coals for flames shoot from its mouth. The tremendous strength in its neck strikes terror wherever it goes. Its flesh is hard and firm, not soft and fat. Its heart is as hard as a rock, as hard as a millstone. When it rises, the mighty are afraid, gripped by terror. No sword can stop it, nor spear, nor dart, nor pointed shaft. To the crocodile, iron is nothing but straw, and bronze is rotten wood. Arrows cannot make it flee, stones shot from a sling are as ineffective as straw. Clubs do no good, and it laughs at the swish of the javelins. Its belly is covered with scales as sharp as glass. They tear up the ground as it drags through the mud. The crocodile makes the water boil with its commotion. It churns the depths, the water glistens in its wake. One would think the sea had turned white. There is nothing else so fearless anywhere on earth. Of all the creatures, it is the proudest. It is the king of beasts.